Alrighty, so this is my first blog post or vlog post, whatever, as Hot Mess Mama. Um, me and Baby J are like 13 days postpartum. Um, I figured I would tell my birthing story since uh, a lot of people seemed interested in it since it was a all natural birth. Um, I guess first off, I should introduce myself. Um, my name is Chelsea. I am 28 years old, first time new mom. Um, very excited. Very scared. <laughs> uh, very happy and fulfilled right now. Um, at this moment, uh, baby Jay is asleep which, according to his feeding schedule, means I've got maybe another half hour before I have to uh, feed him again. I'm doing a vlog. That's super daddy. He's vacuuming the house right now. Sorry about that. Um, right, so, we're doing chores. Baby Jay just made a noise. Okay, so we're doing chores right now. Like I said, I've only got a couple moments, maybe half hour, to uh, finish this up. Uh, so let me quit digressing and continue with my story. So my birthing story is uh, on the 23rd of April. I was awake at 2 a.m. in the morning. Uh, obviously, that's what a.m. means. And... Um, Baby J just was dancing all over my belly, and he hadn't done that for a really long time because he was so squished. I was just used to feeling him, you know, just kind of shift, but um, this particular morning, he was kicking, he was punching, he was all in the ribs, he was just dancing. In retrospect, I think it's because he knew it was his birthday, so he was celebrating. Um, around 3 o'clock? I heard a pop sound, and, um, you know, they say when your water breaks, you're going to hear a pop, and then I always just thought, like, immediately, like, you you just gush out water, but that's not really what happened, so I heard a little pop. Um, it sounded slightly different than, like, my hip pops. Um, it was more like a rubber band breaking sound, which was really, really weird, and uh, I don't think I would have even noticed it if I hadn't had been awake for so long. Um, so anyway, so about 3.30 I go to the restroom and um, I do my business and I'm about to get up and movie style status, just a goosh of liquid falls out. I'm really glad I was still on the toilet because that would have been really disgusting to clean up. So, uh, I sit back down, and I call Justin about six times, and of course he's dead to the world, so I hope to goodness that I don't leak all over myself as I walk from the bathroom to the bedroom uh, to wake him up, and I'm like, okay babe, my water just broke, and um, he jumps awake, and, uh, and he's like, okay. But I wasn't having any contractions, so I call my sister, who's a nurse, and she um, she was like, okay, well, since your water broke, you definitely need to go to the hospital. And so I was like, okay, fine. So I call the hospital, let them know I'm coming, and still no contractions. We don't even start driving to the hospital until like an hour later, so around like 4.30, um, then my contractions started. Um, we get to the hospital, and they um, start checking me, uh, checking me in, and um, I was at 3 centimeters, 80% effaced, um, which I still kind of don't even know what that word means, but whatever. So, um, anyways, so... I get checked in, I'm in a room, um, I decided that I wanted an all-natural birth, so I let the nurses and the staff know that um, unless medically necessary, I didn't want any interventions. I didn't even want to be put on like the Doppler. So they came in and um, 
intermittently and they just did about 20 minutes on to check um, the baby's heartbeat. So she would come in and she would check the baby's heartbeat prior to a contraction, through a contraction, and then a couple minutes after a contraction. So that's how my Doppler readings went. Uh, I think the next time I got checked was around 9. At that point they said I was 6 centimeters dilated. And then um, uh, they checked me again at 11.30 and I was at 8 centimeters dilated. So at 11.30 I'm thinking, okay, I'm doing about a centimeter an hour, so I've got about another two hours to go before this baby gets here. And I think in my head I just really kind of relaxed. If you can say that much, I kind of relaxed a little bit and I was like, okay, I got two more hours to go, like I need to conserve my energy. At this point, um, they let me have uh, a drink called Labor Aid with me instead of just water, which was really nice and I honestly think that really helped me because I just got an IV lock. I didn't even have any fluids going, so um, by drinking that, that was really nice and that's like, um, you can find it on Pinterest or... <laughs> On the internet, it literally is called Labor Aid, and it's like a calcium, magnesium, pregnant Gatorade kind of thing. It just helps with your electrolytes. So that was really nice to have. Um, the, my contractions. So in my head, um, I'm thinking contractions are just going to get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger as you know time progresses, and they really they really didn't get stronger and stronger. They would, I, they kind of came in like waves. Some would be really bearable. Um, you know, just like some deep breathing. And that's what I did. I really did relaxation breathing techniques. Um, I really just kind of focused on my breathing and, um, I had Justin behind me. Um, and every time I had a contraction, small or large, he would put a lot of pressure um, squeezing my hips together and pushing them forward, if that makes sense. And that helped immensely. And I thought that I would um, be walking around and I was going to have a water birth and or a water labor and all that jazz. But I get there and um, the tub is available, but they have no liners, so it's not available. Um... So no water birth for me, but I did bring my little, um, workout bounce ball. I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. It's like those big rubber balls that people use for workouts. I brought that with me and basically that was the position I stayed in the whole time. I just sat on my ball and bounced and let gravity take its course. There was a couple times where I would get on the bed and lay on my side, but I felt like my contractions came harder that way so I didn't do that often and then there was about two times where I was on all fours um, and I just kind of let whatever needed to happen happen um, so anyways with the contractions yeah there was I, I think my sister was there in the room with me along with super daddy and um, she had said as she was looking at the m monitors when um uh, I was hooked up that they would reach anywhere from, some of them would be between 70 and 90, and some of them would be up to 200. So I don't know what that means to any of you guys, but I guess that's pretty intense. So, um, but again, I was able to breathe through them. So um, getting back to the labor, uh, like I said, at 11.30, they came and checked me and they said I was at 8 centimeters. At 12 o'clock, the baby.